Hi friends, this is Mohammed Jibran and welcome to our C++ tutorials. In this series, I will show you how to create programs in C++. So let me tell you some background of C++. C++, C++ was created by John Straustrop in 1983 to 1985. C++ is an extension of C. Prior to 1983, John Straustrop added features to C and form what he called C with classes. He had combined the Simulus classes, which was also a programming language at that time, and object-oriented features with the power and efficiency of C. The term C++ was first used in 1983. In 1980, C with classes was developed by John Straustrop. In 83, C with classes were called C++, and in 85, C++ compilers were available in the market. In 89, it got, it got ISO standardized, and 99, it got approved, and here, in 2012, you have in your syllabus also. So this is one of the famous languages worldwide. C++ is a collection of commands which tells the computer to do something. This collection of commands is usually called a C++ source code. Commands are either functions or keywords. Keywords are basic building blocks of any language. Just like C language, every program in C++ must ha also has a function named main that is always called when your program starts executing. So let us start writing our first program. First we will open our compiler, select a new source file, we will again include some header files. H. In C, we used conio.h. Now we are using iostream.h. The full form is input output stream.h. The other header file would be our good old conio.h. Int main. And the program which we will be making is this first one again. The simplest one, hello world program. Get ch close nine. Save it. See, hello world. So let me explain what is happening over here. Nothing new. You got your header files on the place. This includes the header files which are already in your library then this is your main function your program starts executing from here then in C we used stdo.h so we were able to use printf here we are using iostream.h for the same reason of inputting and taking streams from the screen so instead of printf and scanf here we will use cout and cin so what we and uh, this thing is called insertion operator it inserts whatever it's after whatever it's written after it in the codes on the screen again get ch waits till the user presses any key on the keyboard and then it exi exits the program this is the basic program of c++ in our upcoming videos we'll see how to do complex one with the classes so let me explain you what are what is the meaning of including siostream.h in your library you are you have a file with the name include.h so before running your program when your compiler sees this line what it does it writes this file in your program you don't see what is written but your compiler automatically automatically add this uh, file header file in your program and then it comes to this file so it adds these two files which you can't see so your actual program will be having some text over here which you can't see but it will be automatically generated during the execution of your program this both these two files are required to understand the keywords like cout and get ch without these header files you cannot run your program 
so this was regarding our first program hope you like this video and thanks for watching